I don't doubt that there's a difference between a hobby and an obsession. I just don't know what it is. Let's do this, shall we? Hello, hello, what's going on? It is me, Jay Renard, and I'm here with another of my favorite days, Unboxing Day. So, if I am correct in my assumption here, and if my timing is right, or rather if I'm remembering my timing properly, this should be yet another bronze watch. Man, they must have just made this much thicker than the last FedEx package. The last one I tore very easily. should be sufficient actually well maybe not Ah, uh, yes. So, actually, hold on, it's a bit bright. There we go. Another one from San Martin. So, I know that I try my hardest to not get a lot from each brand but I also definitely want to get a few things from each brand so that I don't well not each brand but from each of the brands that uh, interest me the most so I want to make sure that I'm not judging a whole brand and as such giving a review on one thing but I also don't want to get zoned in and locked in on one type of thing that's why I've started to branch out from Mostly, if not just Seiko's, even though I have a bunch, I realized I was being a little bit too zoned in, so I'm started, I've started to spread it out. But, some things I do like. And, if it hasn't already been made clear, I do like metals. And, obviously, I love leather. And, this style, of, or rather, this material for this watch in bronze is something that I don't know why it just calls to me. I absolutely love it. So, I uh, ordered another bronze watch from San Martin. Alright, so initially upon the unboxing, I gotta say, um, I feel like they skimped a bit on the bubble wrap. However, having owned the uh, Nota Bene, uh, I do know that the packaging inside the case is actually superb. So, not really worried so much about this because the watch itself is is packed pretty well in a case like this. Side note, I really like the case. I actually repurposed, or not really repurposed, but I used this case again to hold a lot of my uh, Palo Santo tools. So this one here is uh, going to be used for my French edgers. So this, these here, I have a set of three. And I've been keeping them in a separate bag, but now I can keep them in a separate case. So, props to San Martin for having something uh, much reusable. Alright, see what else they have in here. User manual, gotta love that. Seems to be pretty straightforward. With a screwed crown, I don't believe this one does. 
for the various atmospheres. Okay, I like this. It's actually really, really bright. There we go. Hopefully that's uh, better for the folks at home. Alright, I do like this. Um, instead of the standard uh, set of pages. So, there's that. Uh, Alright, so this is not the Nota Bene. This doesn't apply, but I'm glad to see that they've got a little something for, uh, for every type of thing they have there. Oh, yeah. Got the the warranty, so I'm going to keep hold of this. I actually keep all my warranties in a separate uh, spot at my house, just in case, for insurance purposes. Anything else? Alright. Nothing else there. And, ah, okay, so a little bit more than, than last time. So we've got the removal tool and these, which I'll talk about later. And now, for what everybody here came for. I am absolutely, positively loving this. So this is the Bronze Field Watch automatic movement got the clear case back and I'll be showing more of this as I uh, uh, take off the plastic you can see the, uh, some of the jewels in the movement there and I can say this and I say this very humbly I love this band I have zero desire to change out this band at all I like the look of it, I like the color of it I like the shape of it, I like how it feels right now in my hands, and especially I love how how thick this is. This is not some thin, like, insubstantial weight here. So it's actually, um, looks like it's one piece of leather that's been folded over, so probably three to four ounces, so folded together, we're going to call this between six and eight, so I'll just approximate uh, that it's seven ounces uh, thick with the leather. I'm not sure what that is in millimeters. Uh, hashtag freedom units. I'm American, so there's that. But, I mean, look at that dial. Look at that. That is beautiful. You know what? I just I can't I can't wait to get this this plastic off here. I'm trying not to be overzealous. Come on. I do not want to break out the knife. Again, back to the packaging, or in this case, the, the wrapping. Great, great job. Clearly nobody just grabbed it, quick wrapped it around like they didn't give a damn. There was some care put to this. Oh man. Loving every second of this. Alright, so the dial, you couldn't already tell, is Mother of Pearl. It was such a unique look that I just I went ahead and grabbed it up. I couldn't I couldn't resist. Um so the crown here, really, really substantial. It's probably a crown that sticks out further than any other crown that I've had before. some of this here there it goes and now all right
right, now I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. And hopefully this stays in focus, although I suspect it's going to be a little difficult for me. Come on. I've never done this on camera before. There we go. Now we see it come to life. closer to the microphone so that you can hear what I'm hearing. Now right now I'm about a foot and some change away from this, So, but I can hear this winding pretty substantially. I'm going to move this closer to the microphone so that you can get the, the auditory feel that, uh, that I'm getting right now. Hold on one second. So I hope you all got that. Come on, there we go. All right, so I've definitely gotten the uh, the minimum amount of winding in. So I do have to say I love that this crown is really substantial right here. Um, I have a fear that maybe it's a little bit too big. And that it might catch on a few things, but truthfully, I'll uh, I'll get that figured out after I wear it for a bit. All right, starting to feel a little bit of tension on there, so I think it's wound enough. So for those who haven't noticed, there's no sweeping second hand on the center post. This here at the bottom, what where you might assume a tourbillon would be, uh, is not a tourbillon. This is showing the seconds swooping for the minute. So right now I've got it as almost 1800. So I'm going to dial this back a bit. So normally I would sweep past to make sure I'm on the proper date, but there's no date function on this. There's no date complication. So I'm going to set this to 1800. It's a little bit fast, maybe a minute or so. But there we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and review the rest of what it came with. And then we'll uh, go ahead and put it on, shall we? All right. I did not know initially what this was for. I thought this, because it feels and looks exactly like uh, a buff pad, or I believe that's what it's called for uh, for buffing nails. I thought that's what this was. Um, I guess technically it is, um, but what it actually is for is for buffing and polishing the bronze. So I could let it gain its natural patina from wear and use and everything like that or if I so desired and I'll go ahead and pick a spot so this right here so you're intended to use this one side here for buffing out any you know scratch you know dings or whatnot like that then using this side Sorry about that, but that's just the nature of this. To get it nice and polished. So it went from this dull matte right here. Still looks beautiful, by the way. I think this looks great. To shiny and polished. Dull and matte, shiny and polished with a minute's worth of work. 
and as long as you go ahead and put in the effort to keep this cleaned you can reuse this over and over and over again uh, it'll be a while before this is all used up um, all right so now that we've talked about what it comes oh, actually I'm sorry I forgot about it and you have this tool here for uh, adjusting the links and whatnot now like the uh, Nota Bene this actually comes with uh, spring bars that can be uh, that uh, you can use these here to remove them so I don't need to use this tool here on the inside to push the bars in I have the, uh, the quick releases right here and right there so this is something extra or if you or you know because we all know that I make watch bands also if I wanted to replace this band this band and for the record again I don't plan on replacing it for a while um, I do have a set of extra spring bars and I would use this to uh, put them in and remove them swap them out if when the time comes but uh, that time will be a ways off so all right here we go now to uh, try it on. Oh, side note, what I'm wearing here, uh, the Timex Harbor side, and with the uh, the boon strap underneath that I made, this is hippo leather. Bring this a little bit closer. You can see some of the detail there. And I made it so that it was just a little bit more comfortable and um, just had a little bit more presence on my wrist. Like I said, I'm not a small guy. So that's another reason why I like the, the I guess, chunkiness, for lack of a better, word, a better term, of this one here. The weight on the band is really substantial, so I'm a little biased personally, but I think I'm going to like how it looks and feels. Let's go ahead and make this happen. <laughs> Full flex, right about there, all right. <laughs> okay, it's about the right distance. All right. So it's at the right distance that I normally keep my watch at. So I can say, just like I suspected, because this crown is so prominent, I'm going to have to wear this a little bit further back for comfort uh, when I'm, you know, flexing my wrist. Not a big deal. Uh, truth to be told, a lot of times I wear my watch with the face on the inside. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing that too much with this one, but sometimes I do, uh, in which case the uh, crown being so prominent won't be much of an issue. But absolutely positively loving the look of it. The mother of pearl dial is, I'm, I'm so glad that I made this call. Um, and the strap itself, I love it. It just feels very substantial but it also even though I've said you know, I've remarked about the prominence of the crown it doesn't really feel like it's in the way truth to be told I'm not flexing my wrist so much like this during my normal work day I mean maybe if I was doing push-ups or something but truthfully if that was the case um, I'd probably already have swapped out to a different watch or no watch all right so um, I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, San Martin uh, bronze field watch with the mother of pearl dial uh, as, it, as it looks and feels. Um, solid 9 out of 10 in my opinion. Um, absolutely positively to me worth the money. Um, uh, the, the prominence of the crown is probably the only thing that's going to uh, take it away from a full 10. Like I said, I don't think I'm... Actually, I don't mind it so much. I just know that maybe in some instances it might be a hindrance. But for other people, the prominence of a crown, uh, something like this, would detract from it. So there's that. 
Um, I think maybe it could have been a little bit lower in uh, and the aesthetics wouldn't have been lost. But truthfully, that's the only downside that I'm seeing. Uh, the I absolutely positively love the sapphire crystal case back. You can see everything. Um, hold on one second. This is... That smudge on the glass was just getting to me. I'm sorry. I mean, you probably couldn't see it, but I could, and it was, it was bugging me. <laughs> All right. Um, truthfully, as much as uh, I like how this brushed section here looks, I'm going to leave this to patina on its own a bit. I think this might turn into something that I'll clean maybe every other week or so, and just let that patina, uh, that bronze patina actually grow. Uh, you know, bronze is uh, copper and tin, so it's going to uh, gain uh, uh, the the anodized coating, or the I'm sorry, the oxidized coating that's inherent with uh, with copper. But with bronze, it, it has something uh, its own special uh, luster to it. So I can't wait for that. I'm absolutely positively loving this one. Um, all right, there. There's my review, uh, my unboxing review. Thank you very much. I'm Jay Renard, and I'm out. Peace.